Good afternoon, Janeline. Good afternoon, ma'am. Can you tell me about yourself? Uh, I'm Janeline Bergara from Kongungan Padre Garcia. I'm 26 years old and I'm a... Uh, I'm, uh, I have, I have what, two, I have daughter and I'm uh, married. My daughter is two years old and six, seven months old. Okay, I have few questions for you to answer, so let's start. Why do you want to work as a maid? I earn, I earn money from, to help my family. Okay, and why you choose Malaysia when there's a lot of other country? I choose Malaysia because the people is so nice, hospitality. Okay, how are you qualified for this job? Uh, I learned how to cook, uh, ironing, and washing, cleaning, ma'am. Okay, may I know what is your educational level is? Uh, I'm a high school graduated mom. Okay. What is your recent experience? Um, factory worker and housemaid. Okay. Have you worked abroad before? No, no mom. Do you have experience of taking care of baby? Yes, mom. My own baby and children to housemaid. Okay. How about elderly people? Uh, no, mom, but I'm willing. Okay, do you have any other special skills? I uh, think. Mm -hmm. Are you willing to learn new skills? Yes, ma'am. Are you willing to work with a family where the mother-in-law or any relatives stay together? Yes, ma'am. Currently, are you still working now? Yes, ma'am. Do you know how to cook? Yes, ma'am. What sort of food can you cook? Filipino food. Like what? Uh, like adobo, vegetable, uh, fried egg, fried fish, um, apretada. Okay. Are you aware that you will have to do washing, cleaning, ironing, and cooking? Yes, ma'am. From all the house chores like washing, cleaning, ironing, and cooking, which do you like most? Uh, taking care of children or baby and cleaning. Okay. If ever you were selected to work in Malaysia, who will take care of your kid? My husband. Okay. You are not allowed to use handphone during working hours. Yes or no? Yes, ma'am. You are only allowed to use handphone after you finish all the works and when going to bed. Yes, ma'am. You are strictly needed to surrender the handphone to your employer in the morning and your employer will return back to you once you're going to bed. Yes, ma'am. If ever your employer finds out that you're abusing of using your handphone and it's affected your work performance, your employer will confiscate your handphone and you are not allowed to hold it anymore. Instead, your employer will allow you to call to your family three times in a month. You're only allowed to bring normal phone and you are not allowed to bring smartphone. Are you agreed for the terms and condition? Yes, ma'am. I agree. Are you agreed to the rules and regulation for the handphone? Yes, ma'am. How many years is the contract as you agreed in understand? Uh, two years, ma'am. Can you describe for me your ethics, your attitude? But I'm, a, I'm a hardworking, disciplined, and honest. Okay. How can you assure to us that you will work hard in Malaysia? Uh, I'm assured to work hard because I want to, I want to earn money for my family. Okay. And the future of my daughter. Okay. Can you promise not to use the telephone without the permission of your employer? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to put on makeup but to dress properly while work? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to invite friends and relatives without the consent of your employer? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to ask for advance salary from your employer under any circumstances? Yes, ma'am. 
do you really understand of the rules and regulations of the agency? Yes, ma'am. Do you pay any placement fee for you to come to Malaysia to work as a maid? No, ma'am. Do you have any history of sickness, example breast cancer or any other illness? No, ma'am. Do you have in do you suffer from any skin diseases, allergy or physical defect? No, ma'am. Have you suffered from any serious illness? No, ma'am. Do you smoke? No, ma'am. Do you have any tattoo in your body? No, ma'am. Have you undergone any operation? No, ma'am. Are you medically fit? Yes, ma'am. Are you on any medication? No, ma'am. Are you allergic with any food? No, ma'am. Are you prepared to work for the employer of any race? Yes, ma'am. Are you prepared to eat the type of food taken by your employer? Yes, ma'am. Are you afraid of being left alone in the house? No, ma'am. Are you afraid of dogs or other pets? No, ma'am. Can you promise to work according to instruction from your employer? Yes, ma'am. Do you have any immediate family working in Malaysia? No, ma'am. Okay, Janeline, we have finished our question section. Let's go to case study. I have a case study for you and I want you to answer me truthfully. Okay? Okay number, okay, number one. Upon arrival in Malaysia within six months, if ever any of your family members passed away, what will you do? Will you continue to work till finish your contract or you will go back? I want to continue my work. I want to sacrifice all because I want to earn money for the future. Okay, number two. Tell us about yourself and why do you want to work in Malaysia as domestic helper? Uh, I'm Jeanaline Bergara, 26 years old. and I'm married. I, I have one daughter, 2 years old, and 7 months. Mom, please hide me. Why do you want to work in Malaysia as domestic helper? Uh, because I want to earn money and I want to help my family for the future of my daughter. Okay. Okay, Janeline, what do you want to tell the employer who watching your video right now? Ma'am, sir, good afternoon. Please hide me. Okay. Thank you very much, Janeline. We will update your agency if there's any selection made by the employer. Yes, ma'am.